What's up guys, welcome back to the channel right now with my girlfriend and uh, Dylan back here. He's, he's slumped though. If you guys happen to be new to this channel, I have one favor for you and that is to go down below and press subscribe because I promise you, you won't regret it. Although you are probably wondering in this video, there is not gonna be any BMX riding. That's because it looks like Mr. Claus's backyard outside. So there's absolutely no chance I'm gonna be able to go outside and ride. Ugh. So although it is the off season of riding BMX and there's not much content I can put out other than talking, I just wanna inform you guys on this certain subject and I wanna really quickly teach you guys and show you guys how to tell when a bike is stolen. So if you guys ride BMX like I do, you guys already know that if your bike ever gets stolen, your baby, you'd be more upset than Stevie Wonder trying to grocery shop. And that is why I'm gonna make this video to try and prevent that from happening. Now, of course, there is wonderful objects, kinda like these bad boys, but those don't always work. Before we continue, this right here, it's not dirt. That is my disgusting facial hair. So anyways, earlier today, ooh, we're a little, we're a little underexposed. Anyways, today I was scrolling through the Facebook market app. I was scrolling through Craigslist. You know, sometimes I like doing that because I don't know why I just like looking at, you know, used cars. I like shopping a little bit. Anyways, to be real, who doesn't do that? I'm saying I was scrolling. Alrighty, so I was- That was hilarious, actually. If you wanted to be real, that was- my name's Angelina, all I do is sleep and I don't even have a job. <laughs> oh yeah, now you're gonna act like you're asleep now that the camera's on you? Holy crap, as I was saying, I was scrolling through Craigslist, scrolling through Facebook, dude, seriously, Facebook market. <laughs> Jesus, Mary and Joseph, as I was saying, I was scrolling through Craigslist, scrolling through the Facebook marketplace, and I saw tons of BMX bikes. And I sat here and I'm like, this is a little sketchy underexposed again. Anyways, I'm not gonna even lie to you guys. I probably found about five bikes. You could just tell from the ad that they were indeed stolen. So I figured, you know what? I need to make a video like this so I don't see any more homies bikes getting put up for sale by someone who is a bike theft. It is time to stop the bike thieves. Now you may be asking yourself, how are we gonna do this? Not, not, with, not with fire, not with fire. We are going to do this with proper etiquette of how to not get your bike stolen. Although it is inevitable and it is hard to just not let your bike get stolen, but there's a few things that you should probably do in order to help your bike from not being stolen. And I don't think you can really throw something like this at them. Although this would hurt a lot if somebody tried stealing your bike. I would definitely drop the bike if I felt that on me. So like I said earlier, sometimes these do not help, but having a really good one can prevent it very well, very well. Now you may be thinking to yourself, how can these fail? A lot of times someone who is trained in the arts of bike theft, they usually carry around a giant pry cutter thing and they just cut these bad boys right in half. So having a really solid one, like just straight chain links with a with something over them that makes it hard for you to actually cut through, something like this is stellar. So first thing, have a good bike lock. Second thing is that you need to make sure that you're not leaving your bike in places where it's vulnerable to get stolen. What I mean by this is that say if you go into a store for a little bit, don't leave your bike into the alleyway next to the store. Leave your bike in front of the store, you know, in front of a window where you can actually see it the whole time you are inside that store. Let's just say you need like a, like a little drink after a session. Don't leave your bike in a sketchy place and it won't get stolen. That is also inevitable because people can run up really quickly and steal it if there is no lock on it. So the second thing is obviously, have a good eye on your bike at all times. And there's also a lot of other things you can do. You can get little GPS tracking units, putting inside your seat and just track your bike at all times to make sure nobody sees it. You can do a lot of things to prevent your bike from getting stolen. So always leave your bike in a secured place. So let's just say you go inside for the night and you're about to go to bed, leave your bike in the garage or inside your house or in your car. You know, the car is probably not the safest bet, but it's safer than just leaving it in your front yard or on the side of your house or anything like that. So with all that knowledge I just threw at you guys, I'm going to get started with this official video. I'm gonna pick out a few ads and Craigslist posts I've seen, and I'm gonna be showing you guys how to tell if the bike is stolen. So I just spent the past 15 minutes kind of refreshing my brain of what I was looking at earlier. I took screenshots of everything that I saw, 
And it pissed me off just looking at it because I know that was once somebody's bike who maybe they got stolen, maybe, I don't know how this happened. There's always a story behind everything, but it is clear that these bikes are either stolen or the person who was selling it just somehow got the bike or just found the bike. I don't know how, but it's easy to tell that these bikes are clearly stolen. So the first bike I saw that kind of instantly caught my eye was a bike that is $50. And not only that is that it looks like a bike that one of my buddies rides. So I got really sketched out really quickly. I almost got angry. I thought my buddy was selling it. I was about to message him right away. You guys already know who Dan Peck is if you guys are avid viewers. Anyways, I saw this and I instantly got mad because not only is this a really solid bike, probably just the handlebars, the stem, and maybe forks are $50 alone. It's the fact how just the, just the caption is great trick bike, $50 or offer please. And I'm not just saying that it's $50 because the little tag it says $50. She, the person who was selling it, literally said $50. So further investigation on this bike is that it has four piece bars, a shadow stem, Sabrosa frame I'm guessing, fit forks, shadow pedals, a bash sprocket of some kind. Bash sprockets are $50 brand new, so you can easily tell that this bike is pretty stolen. So the next bike is a bike that I'm gonna let you guys decide. This is like a little test to see if you guys know what a stolen bike looks like or not. In my opinion, I believe that this bike is stolen. This is what the ad looks like. It looks like the picture of this bike is taken outside near some trash with a Mountain Dew bottle just underneath the bike, just chilling. And it also has a sealed bottom bracket, has a sealed headset, looks like some sort of a top load stem. The tires look brand new on it. Cranks are eight spline, you know, not the best. The sprocket looks somewhat good. And you know, for $80, it's either a steel or BMX bike or it's, it's a stolen BMX bike. So the next bike is a bike where I easily can tell that it is stolen indeed. I think that this bike is completely 100% stolen. There's no if, thens, buts, or about it. And this is what the ad looks like. Custom BMX bike, $150. And it looks like a pretty dialed bike, if I do say so myself. It kind of looks like a, uh, it looks like a kink for sure. Kink complete. Looks like a frame got sprayed painted a little bit it's not a full picture but it does look like a dialed bike from far away and he says it's a bmx bike black and white the way you could tell that a bmx bike is stolen is that if the person who is selling it doesn't list off much of the parts you know if you guys were trying to sell a bike you guys would probably list hey this is a stolen cherry frame snm bars odyssey headset odyssey this odyssey that fit cranks you know the whole nine yards you wouldn't just list black and white bike so last but not least this bike it's it's 100 stolen you guys can't even argue with me on this one 20 inch bmx bike chrome 250 dollars not bad description don't know much about it other than it was built with top of the line parts in great condition and rides amazing 250 dollars or best offer if you're trying to sell a bike to me and your profile picture was a picture of you in the mirror looking like you're holding like a Nokia phone and you're flipping me off and you have a haircut from the 80s. Anyways, you just look really not professional. All right, guys, he looks like a scumbag, okay? that That's where I was trying to get at. If you're trying to sell a bike that you don't know much about, then there's a clear indicator that you probably stole it. That's an easy, easy indicator. And then if you say it's built with the top of the line parts and you can easily tell like for me and you guys, this is this is definitely a Sabrosa complete bike. This isn't top of the line parts at all. This is a complete bike that you can buy in dance comp for like $400. And they're trying to sell for $250. You know, not a bad price, but it you don't want to support these bike thieves. So that is just some of the bikes that I saw when I was scrolling through earlier. And I figured, yo, I have to make a video about this. And what can you guys do? if you guys come in contact or see an ad like this. Now you can definitely harass the seller a little bit because you know the bike is stolen. And then you can also report it to a police officer if it's a clear indication that this is stolen. Or you can go buy the BMX bike or somehow get the BMX bike, don't steal the BMX bike again. And then find the original owner because I know if you guys, if you had your bike stolen, you would want somebody to return it right away. Now, one thing that was not really seen in today's video is the spray paint ordeal. A lot of the times when people steal a bike is that they spray paint it right away, so it's very hard 
to indicate when they try and sell it. A while ago, my older brother had his bike stolen from school and then almost three days later, my dad was driving on the road. He was at a stoplight and somebody kind of cut him off in front of him. And he could tell that it was my brother's bike because my brother had like a Pokemon card in between his spokes. So he was instantly able to tell that it was my brother's bike and it was spray painted over it. So therefore he called the cops immediately and got the bike back. So if you guys have any contact with a bike thief, please do anything and everything you can to put that to a stop. Bike thieves are one of the, they're like a nightmare in the BMX world. They're like, they're like the plague. Nobody likes them. Do something to your BMX bike that nobody else does. Sometimes people put bandanas around their bike, Pokemon cards in the spokes. Make your bike your own. So just in case if it gets stolen, you can easily tell it out from far away. You know, scratch a little your initials in the bottom brackets. Do something to make it your own. So next time you guys are scrolling through Facebook, MySpace, Instagram, Twitter, Omegle, you know, anything, and you guys come across a stolen bike post, Please do everything and anything you can to share that out and get the word out that there is a stolen bike. And also keep your eyes peeled because we're all family. And before I forget, today's notification shout out goes to Brad Nilsson. Thank you for being a part of the notification squad. And if you guys want a chance to be shouted out in the next video, all you guys have to do is go on below, press subscribe, press like, also hit that little notification bell, and also comment notification squad. I'm going to be picking the middlest person, the middlest. Is middlest even a word? We're just gonna roll with it. Anyways, also leave a comment of your bike theft story. Everybody has a bike theft story. Everybody has a story about how their bike gets stolen or everybody has stolen how their buddy's bike got stolen or when they confronted a bike thief at one point. So with all that, share with your friends, share with your homies, share your dog, share your cat, share their friends, hi mom, share with your Uncle Bethany. Uncle Bethany knows we're out here making videos and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Where the heart is.